Okay, let's talk about something super exciting. And honestly, just a little bit terrifying. AI is moving faster than ever, especially in the world of image generation. If you've been keeping an eye on this space for a while, you already know some of the big names. Midjourney, DALI, Stable Diffusion. These have been the heavy hitters, constantly innovating, battling it out to see who can push the boundaries the furthest. But guess what? A fresh contender has just entered the scene, and it's causing quite the buzz. Say hello to Flux, and trust me, you're going to want to know more about this one. So, where should we start? Let's roll back for a bit and talk about what's been happening in the AI world. For the past few years, we've seen an explosion of AI-generated art tools. Platforms like Adobe Firefly, Midjourney, DALI, and of course, Stable Diffusion have been really shaking things up. Each new update seems to leapfrog the last, whether it's in quality or just pure innovation. But here's the twist. Flux just jumped into the ring, and it's setting the scene on fire. Now picture this. You're scrolling through your feed, maybe on Instagram or Facebook, and you stumble across an image that makes you stop. It looks so real, like it was snapped on a high-end camera. But then, something feels off. Maybe it's the text on the lanyard that looks a bit wonky, or the patterns in the background seem a little strange. You do a double take and realize, wait a minute, this isn't a photo. This is AI generated. Yep, that's flux for you. So lifelike it can fool you, but not without leaving a few clues that AI is at work. And naturally, it's causing quite a stir. So what exactly is flux? It's an open source AI image generator developed by a company called Black Forest Labs. Now, if that name means nothing to you, let this hit home. Some of the folks behind Flux used to work at Stability AI. Yes, that's Stability AI, the team responsible for stable diffusion, a pretty big deal in the AI art world. Black Forest Labs isn't just stopping at image generation either. They're also cooking up a text-to-video model that promises high-quality results, and get this, it'll be open source too. They're immediately serious contenders, having already secured $31 million funding, thanks to Andreessen Horowitz, one of the top names in tech investing. To throw in a little teaser, their next big move, according to their homepage, will involve a model called Soda. That one's going to be something to watch out for, but for now, the focus is all on Flux. All right, let's get into what makes Flux so special. For starters, the fact that it's open source is a big deal. That means the code is out there for anyone to take apart, tinker with, and build into their own projects. It gives a ton of flexibility to developers, hobbyists, even small businesses that might not have the budget for expensive tools like Midjourney. And here's the kicker. Flux actually comes in three different versions. First up, we've got the Pro version. This is the heavy-duty one geared towards commercial use. Essentially, it's the go-to option for companies wanting top-notch AI-generated images as part of their products or services. Then, there's the Dev version. Think of it as the middle child. Not quite as powerful as the Pro version, but still pretty impressive. It's perfect if you're in that in-between space, not super commercial, but definitely more than just casual use. Finally, we've got the Schnell version. Schnell means fast in German, and the name totally fits. This version is all about speed. We're talking two to three seconds to generate an image. It's a bit lighter on the resources, but incredibly snappy, making it ideal for those moments when you need quick results without a massive setup. But all right, is any of this truly groundbreaking? Actually, yes. One of the coolest things about Flux is that you don't need a high-end supercomputer or some crazy expensive cloud service to get it running. If you've got a decently powerful laptop, you're good to go. That's a big deal because it makes high-quality AI image generation accessible to way more people than before. And here's another thing. When it comes to realism, Flux doesn't just compete with the big names. It might actually lead the pack. Picture-perfect realism is where Flux really shines. The images it creates are so lifelike that it's almost unsettling. You might think you're looking at a real photo, at least initially. Some people are already calling Flux the new king of photorealism. Now, pair it with Lara, 
a fine-tuning script developed by a group called XLab, and the results are stunning. We're talking about images so detailed and accurate, you'd have a hard time telling them apart from the real deal, at least on a quick glance. But, and there's always a but, Flux isn't flawless. Dig a little deeper into these images, and you might start to notice the imperfections. Text, in particular, is a giveaway. Flux still has issues rendering small text accurately, so that lanyard text or sign in the background might seem a bit off. The patterns and textures can be a little quirky too, and if you look closely, some things might be slightly out of proportion. It's nothing that completely ruins the image. But yeah, if you're hunting for it, you'll spot it. Another thing, skin textures. Flux is great at rendering people, but sometimes makes skin appear a little too smooth, almost like it's been run through an Instagram filter one too many times. This is something that Midjourney, especially in its latest versions, actually handles a bit better. So yeah, the images Flux produces aren't perfect, but that isn't stopping them from going viral. The level of realism it pulls off is jaw-dropping, and it's got everyone buzzing about where this technology could be headed. Think about the possibilities. Stock photography, advertising, social media content. There's a huge market out there for hyper-realistic images, and Flux could turn out to be a game-changer in that space. But with all this excitement comes a bit of concern. As cool as it is to be able to create these mind-blowing images with just a few clicks, there's also a darker side to the technology. We're already seeing worries surface about how AI-generated images could be used to create fake news, commit scams, or spread misinformation. The more realistic these images become, the harder it's going to be to tell the difference between what's real and what's not. It's a freaky thought and something we're going to need to grapple with as AI tech keeps evolving. So, how do you get your hands on Flux if you're keen to try it out? Well, you've got a couple of options. If your laptop has a decent GPU, you can actually download and run Flux locally. There's this launcher called Pinocchio that makes it super simple to get up and running. Fair warning though, it's a big file, so it might take some time to download. But once you've got it, you can start generating images right on your own machine. No cloud services, no constant internet connection needed, but if your gear isn't up to snuff, don't sweat it. There are plenty of online platforms that have already integrated Flux into their services. For instance, Night Cafe, which is already a big name in the AI image generation space, has added Flux to its lineup. This means you can generate images using Flux and stack them up against images from other models like Ideogram or Stable Diffusion 3. It's a great way to see how Flux holds up compared to the competition in real time. Another cool option is Poe. If you're not familiar with Poe, it's an AI model platform that lets you generate images in a chatbot-style format, kinda like how you would with ChatGPT or Dolly. It's a different approach, but neat to see how Flux performs in that setup. And for you developers out there, Flux has got even more integrations. It's available on platforms like BazLabs, Hugging Face, and Fwe, which are perfect if you're looking to dive deep into the tech side of things. Oh, and one more thing, Freepik, one of the biggest names in stock photography, is also working to bring Flux to its site. So keep an eye out for that. So there you have it. Flux is definitely the model to keep an eye on. It's already making waves and could very well shake things up in a big way. And if you're as excited about this as I am, you might want to dive in and see for yourself how it stacks up. If you found this video helpful or interesting, don't forget to smash that like button hit subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And hey, drop a comment below if you've tried Flux yourself, or if you've got any thoughts on the AI image generation scene in general, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.